At last, you've arrived. Good, good. There is much to do, and every moment is critical. I'm Overseer Tremel. For decades, I've administered the trials that prove who is and is not worthy to join the Sith Order. The trials are a chance to weed out the weak. Those who face them either survive and become Sith, or die. Mark my words, I am destined to be Sith. It wasn't destiny that brought you here. Yes, you are here and ahead of schedule because of me. I expect you to obey. You face your trials, you serve me, and I will make you the most powerful acolyte here. You had better be able to deliver that, Tremel. Leave your doubt at the door. There's no room for it in here, and no time to waste. The trials themselves are difficult enough, but they are hardly the greatest threat you face. There's an acolyte here named Vemrin. He's your enemy, and he will try to kill you. We must prepare you. Let him try. I'll destroy him. With my guidance, someday you'll destroy all your enemies. That practice sword you've arrived with is insufficient. The blade of lesser acolytes. You need a dominating weapon. In the tomb of Ajunta Paul, there's an old armory. A strong Sith war blade awaits you there. The tomb is thick with claw slugs. Deadly, savage creatures. Be speedy, but careful. They've been the end of many an acolyte. Then I'll have something in common with the beasts. Once you acquire the war blade, I suggest you spend some time in the tomb bloodying it. Then come to me in my chambers in the academy. Light. I come with a message. Overseer Tremel can teach you the ways of the Sith, but not all of the skills. For that, there are specialists in the Academy. Overseer Tremel wishes you to meet them and learn what you can. That seems like a wise idea. An acolyte who thinks. Good. There is hope for you, and pleasure awaiting your instructors. You will find the best trainers in the Academy's archive. You are expected there shortly. Hey there, Acolyte. Hold on a moment. Let me get a look at you. Hmm, so you're Overseer Tremel's secret weapon. Impressive, to be sure. Afraid the old man waited too long to make his move, though. I'm Vemrin, and unlike you, I've fought and bled for everything I have. I demand respect. You don't want to make me angry, Vemrin. Believe it or not, I'm trying to keep you from getting killed. If Overseer Tremel had made his move a year ago when I first arrived, he might have had a chance. But now, too little, too late. This is ridiculous, Remrin. Let's just kill her and hide the body. We're not on Balmora anymore, Togus. There are rules, traditions. We'll leave the shortcuts to Overseer Tremel and his last pathetic hope here. I'm going to take what's yours, and then I'm going to kill you. You have no idea the enemy you're making. Coming, Dolgus? Be right there, Vemrin. Listen to me, you useless priss. Acolytes aren't allowed to murder each other. But accidents happen. It isn't murder without witnesses. No more warnings. Vemrin's the alpha monster here. You go after Vemrin, you die. Good. You've returned. You seem to be in one piece. Tell me, how do you like your new blade? I hope it's thirsty. I plan on drowning it. What are you doing, Father? I only just got my war blade, and I've been here six months. I have my reasons, Escala. And you will not breathe a word of this to anyone. Do you hear? Yes. Yes, Father. Acolyte, this is Escala, my daughter. She's one of the advanced students here. On her way to becoming Sith. If she minds herself. I'll keep quiet about your new charge, Father. But I won't be there if whatever you're planning blows up in your face. 
Don't mind her, she's just sore that I'm keeping secrets. She growls, but she's loyal. Now, I thought I heard Vemrin's voice in the adjacent chamber before you arrived. Did he make his move so soon? Yeah, I hate him already. I look forward to ending his miserable existence. If things go well, you will have that satisfaction someday. Still, I'd hoped we'd have more time. Vemrin's not the type to sniff around for too long before trying to take a bite. In a drive for sheer numbers, the criteria for Academy admittance has been relaxed. Now anyone with false sensitivity is allowed entrance. Vemrin is mixed blood, the invisible rot eating at the foundation of the Empire. He must not be allowed to advance. So, you're an elitist snob? You say that like it's a bad thing. It's the Sith way. Only the best, only the most pure, should be good enough. Unfortunately, Vemrin's caught the eye of Darth Barriss, one of the most influential Sith Lords. He's being groomed to be Barriss's new apprentice. As Darth Barriss's apprentice, the power at Vemrin's fingertips will be considerable. He could change the Sith for the worse. You must proceed to your next trial immediately. I want you to interrogate three prisoners in the Academy jails and decide their fates. Consider each criminal's story carefully. The decisions you make will be scrutinized, so let your passions guide your judgments. I will handle it. Go to the Academy prison. Speak to Head Jailer Nash and return to me after you've passed judgment on the prisoners. One more cheer from you, little bird, and you'll regret it. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Ow, jerk. If you don't like that, just say so. I can do other animals too. Dire cat, frog dog, quaking monkey lizard, you name it. You, I'm Jalen Nash. I run these cells in slave pits. You're the acolyte Tremel sent for the test, right? <laughs> he thinks highly of you. Let's cut to the chase. No skin off my rump. Now. These three prisoners have been transferred here for your inspection. You've got to interrogate them as needed, and then decide their fate. The convicted are usually executed, or given a trial by combat to see if they're worthy. Whatever you decide, you will be the one to carry out the sentence. As it should be. Ah, fine. Let's get started. This one on the left. You freaks aren't getting anything new out of me! Just do whatever you're gonna do! So, you're hoping for blind mercy. Do you know where you are, lady? You don't have to tell me. There's no such thing as mercy here. I know how this story ends. Impudent to the last. As I was saying, she was sent to kill an Imperial spy in the Yavin system. Throughout her torture, she maintained that she was hired anonymously. Get it through your damn head! I had no idea he was Imperial, and I don't know who hired me! Regale me with the details of your operation. What was your chosen form of murder? I didn't kill him. I was caught before I could pull it off. The point is, she doesn't deny the charge. So now you must decide. Execution or trial by combat. Which do you choose? She deserves to die. I'll kill her where she stands. Be my guest. Just get it over with. <laughs> She faced her death well. Too bad she didn't beg. Please, I am a fellow Sith. Spare me the Assassin's ignoble fate. Grant me a trial by combat, I beg you. Pipe down, scum. You will speak when spoken to. This pile of waste is Davotech, once a valued Sith champion, until he botched an important mission and caused a thousand Imperial deaths. Now look at him. I served faithfully for 24 years. Then one mistake. And they threw me away. Now I have been left here to rot. Please, let me feel the weight of a weapon once more. I don't do charity work. Feel the weight of a weapon in your throat. I die a disgrace. <laughs> Good. I won't have to look at it. 
his sad weathered face anymore. Thank you. And he won't have to look at yours either, Jailer. Ah, well, this last prisoner's a bit of a puzzle. He's called Bregg, and he's a jittery little wretch, suspected of supplying forged documents to Republic agents. Strangely enough, he maintains his innocence, despite being severely tortured. Nebaga imana, naki naya, bila magnam unya kamna lebek. Are you trying to tell me you've led a clean life? Naki oya makmak, nebaga imana, naki naya, bila magnam unya kamna lebek. Ah, he's never wavered from that line, and the evidence is circumstantial. I suppose it's actually possible he didn't do it. So. What do you decide? I don't care if he's innocent or not. Torture him enough and he'll confess. <laughs> Shut up, you fidgety fool. The decision's been made. Ah, <sighs> well that's that. You're an interesting one, kid. I can see why people are keeping tabs on you. Head back to Overseer Tremel. See what he thinks of your choices. Is this everything? Everything Lord Renning was able to obtain, yes. Then run back to your master in the beast pens before I cut you in half. Sorry to make you wait, Acolyte. These interruptions are incredibly annoying. On to the business at hand, your test in the jails. First, the assassin, Solentz. She attempted to kill an Imperial spy, but was unaware of her client's affiliation. You killed her in cold blood. Why? She failed her assignment. I do not abide failures. No, but you can always turn someone's failure into personal profit. Never waste a potential resource. A trained assassin who demonstrated fortitude and amorality? The Empire could have utilized her skills. Now, Devotech, the former warrior. He wanted combat, but you struck him down. Perfect. The man was utterly useless. I took no pleasure in killing him. And why would you? It's like taking out the trash. You just do it. You don't think about it. Once something is used up, it should be eradicated. Lastly, the forger you sent back for more torture even though he seemed innocent. A strong decision. Leave no stone unturned. The ripple from even a tiny stone can flow a great distance. Well, well, look who just turned deep and insightful. It's always best to know beyond any doubt. After all, what is one man's sanity or life versus the fate of the Empire? You're beginning to understand what it means to be Sith, but you're far from being able to impress Darth Barris. I'll try harder, Overseer. I promise. If you don't, you're doomed. Remember that. Because I forced you into the Academy ahead of schedule, Darth Barris will be predisposed to judging you severely. And by severely, I mean fatally. Now, we must hurry to your next trial. Every moment that passes, we risk discovery before we're ready. In the caverns of Mark Aragnos is the beast he left to guard his legacy. Go there, sit among the flames, and wait for the beast to come for you. You think that's enough information? How about you tell me about this beast? All you need to know is that it's ferocious and bloodthirsty. And in no way is it a trial for a normal acolyte. Return to the Valley of the Dark Lords and find the tomb of Marco Ragnos. I'll see you when the beast is slain. Good luck. Well, look who's here. Remember me? You need to move out of my way. I put myself in your way, buddy. On purpose. Notice anything interesting? No witnesses. No witnesses means no rules. No more shortcuts. No more special treatment. You're just going to be another dead failure on Korriban. No! Hold up, hold up. Look, I was wrong. What they're saying about you? Totally true. So... strong. I don't want to die. Ask for no mercy and expect none. Die like a Sith. I failed you, Vemrin. 
We must speak quickly, Acolyte. There isn't much time. I may have made a slight miscalculation. The beast of Mark Aragnos was a great source of dark energy here on Coribam. When it was slain, there was a tremor in the Force. Darth Barris felt that tremor and has become aware of you. He demands an audience. Tell me what to expect, Overseer. Barris is a serious man, but a master of deception. Everything he does and says is calculated. He will attempt to trip you up, test your nature, get to the heart of who you are. Always take him seriously. And I mean always. I can handle Darth Barris. Barris is usually the one doing the handling. We might not speak again, Acolyte. You're the best chance of stopping Vemrin. If you fail, I doubt there will be another strong enough. Good luck. Meet Darth Barris in his chambers, and hurry. He won't take kindly to waiting. There, Tino. I believe that's the one. Really? All right. Hey, you! Careful, Tino. Come on, I'm antsy for some action. You there! Are you the big shot they're all talking about? The one who's been personally summoned by Darth Barris himself? For your own good, curb your curiosity. Please pardon my over-eager friend. It's just that we've heard so much about you. And we want to get in good with you. Tino? What my blunt partner here means is that if you need anything or anyone, say, dealt with, we'd like you to consider us. She's talking about Femrin. We'll kill him for you. <laughs> Sorry. I should have had Tino muzzled. <laughs> so, what do you say? We know Vemrin tried to have you killed. Would you like him eliminated? I'm preserving the pleasure for myself. Far be it for us to rob you of such an experience, but consider this. There are rules. Acolytes are not to openly kill one another. Everyone knows of your rivalry. If you kill him, the Lords will presume your guilt. But if Vemrin croaks while you get an alibi, people might be suspicious, but they won't be able to pin it on you. See? I wouldn't be upset if Vemrin turns up dead. Say no more. Go about your business. We'll handle this with utter discretion. What does this mean, Fine? It means Vemrin is a dead man, and we're going to have the most potent of allies. Most of you will not return from this endeavor. If you die, you will be forgotten. If you give up, you will be killed. No, out of my sight. I've got a bad feeling about this. You should. This is the end of the line for you, Clemeral. Just make sure you stay out of my way. Look here, Venren. I see the upstart, but no sign of Douglas. Clemeral, Venren, you have been dismissed. Yes, Master. I underestimated you by sending Dolgus. It will not happen again. Are you having trouble with Acolyte Vemrin, supplicant? If he insists on getting in my face like that, he's going to have trouble with me. He has been hardened into a lethal machine. Vemrin has paid his dues. He's fought a deck stacked against him to get here. You, on the other hand... Let me get a closer look at you. Yes, as I suspected. Overseer Tremel has done you and this academy a great disservice. Your warblade came early. Prisoners flown in for your convenience. Even a beast here on Korriban instead of off-world in the wild. The pacing of the trials is deliberate. Only full immersion over time produces results. Your mind is soft, unhoned, undisciplined. I disagree, emphatically. The first month of trials should be dedicated to philosophy, conceptual tactics, understanding of the Sith Code. Recite the Sith Code for me, Acolyte, and explain its meaning in battle, war, and politics. The only code I need to know is kill or be killed. Your ability is undeniable, but your readiness and your understanding of the Sith way is woefully lacking. I am your master now. Tremel was becoming lax before you ever arrived. His unwillingness to adapt to the evolving Sith paradigm has become a liability. Be 
These are the actions of a traitor. Traitors are executed. I grant you immunity from punishment. Kill Tremel and bring back his hand as proof. It would be my extreme pleasure. Now, leave. I'm sure Tremel is still in his chambers. Don't return until you've killed him. I didn't expect to see you again so soon. Has Barris sent you back to me? Today's my lucky day. Barris granted my wish. I get to kill you now. Then I have been outplayed. Barris has the authority, but I did not think he would do something this overt. Either I die, or he forces me to kill you, and to destroy my own plan. A master stroke. Very well, you have your orders, Acolyte. Know that it gives me no pleasure to kill you. What makes you so sure you're going to kill me? You're strong, Acolyte, as strong as any I've seen come through the Academy. But you're not Sith yet. I'll try to make your end quick and painless. It's the least I can do. Now, I'm amazed. I knew you were strong in the Force, but not like this. You're more than ready to challenge Vemrin. Barris won't be able to deny that now. He'll have the satisfaction of my death. But I die knowing my success. Go ahead. End this. You are my greatest kill to date. I will rejoice in your blood. Farewell, Acolyte. The purity of the Sith lies with you. What's this? The Acolyte returns, and with a bloodied weapon. I assume this means Tremel is no more. Give me his hand. Here, take this one ring as a memento. Remembering the past can strengthen resolve and embolden the spirit. I am impressed you had the fortitude to destroy him. You know he thought of you as family. How did it feel to betray him? It was a day I will long remember. I savored it completely. Good. Feast on that. Not every kill will be as meaningful. You have taken your first step to understanding the Sith Code. Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, we gain strength. Through strength, we gain power. Through power, we gain victory. And through victory, our chains are broken. The Force shall set us free. By embracing the code and destroying Tremel, you have freed yourself from his shackles and escaped his fate. I'm glad to be free of Tremel. That's more like it. I had a feeling you'd be a fast learner. Now, there are sacred ruins in the tomb of Tulak Horde. The ancient inscriptions that once adorned the walls of each ruin lie in pieces. You will venture through the entire tomb, search all of the ruins, and bring me a shard from each of these inscriptions. You will do this, or you will die. Vemran and my other acolytes have already been sent. There are no rules regarding how they secure the shards, and they will stop at nothing. Fight your way through the tomb of Tulak Horde in the Valley of the Dark Lords, and bring me the shards from each of the ruined shrines. Come here, child. Do you intend to explore the Academy? To know the world that gave birth to the Sith? You should linger here a while. I am Overseer Ragate, a keeper of the old ways. I sense you have potential, and I can help you if you like. Everyone in the Academy seems to sense my potential. But you have not yet come into your own. You have power and strength in the Force. But you must be tested beyond the trials your Masters have set for you. I administer the Rite of Blood and Bone, a ritual performed beyond this doorway. It is a rite Acolytes have participated in for 10,000 years. Blood and Bone, hmm? Sounds right up my alley. It pleases you. Then I too am pleased. 
In the chambers, past the gateway, there is a colony of Shyrax, my leather-winged, razor-talent children and their brood. They guard a mountain of skulls, an altar to the Academy's failures. You must reach the bones before proceeding. And once I reach the bones? You must claim a skull from the mountain and return to the antechamber. Soak the skull in the blood pool and come to me. Once bone has turned red, I will look and see your nature written in crimson stains. And possibly a glimpse of your future. I'll admit that does sound intriguing. To complete the rite is to accept one's death. To steal one's own mortality and drown it in the fluid of life. That is the symbolic purpose. But it is also a trial of power. As are all Sith trials, a trial to test strength and to grant it. I will await you here. If you die, I will forget you. I heard the screams of the Shyrax and the rippling of the blood pool. I heard the sounds of death. I know you brought the red stain skull. And I must say, I am pleased. I didn't even break a sweat. Then you have a darker heart than most. The skull you carry, your rage, your actions drowned it with the dark side. It is part of you. I can read it. I can offer a small gift, but more than that, I can offer a glimpse of your destiny. There's much I can read in the bones. Tell me what you see. I want to know. Very well. Listen carefully. The key to your success is a small and sorry creature, but you can shape it in your image if you so desire. What key? What creature? That is all I see for certain. I can say no more. Prize what you have accomplished here. You are part of a tradition almost as old as Korriban itself, and you have done well. Goodbye now, young Sith. This lesson is complete. Stand and account for yourself, Acolyte. Let's see what you're made of. I look at you, and I wonder, are you among the truly loyal, or do you hide treason in your heart? I am heir to a great Sith bloodline. How dare you even ask such a question of me? I do what the Emperor commands me to. Your special heritage does not place you above suspicion, nor should it. Intelligence reports indicate this valley shelters traitors. Acolytes who seek to destroy our Emperor's carefully built order and replace it with their own weak-minded heresies. They hide among the faithful and obedient. But make no mistake, they will destroy us all, given the chance. We've watched as the traitors scuttle about this valley and plot against us. We know their faces and their names. It is the Emperor's will that the sands of Korriban be slaked with the blood of these traitors. Prove your allegiance by executing them. It will be a great honor to serve you, my lord. And in serving me, you serve the Emperor. Remember that as you exterminate those vermin in the valley. I'll give you the means to identify the traitors. Eliminate enough of them to prove your loyalty. Then return to Inquisitor Arzanen. I'll be watching your progress with great interest. Go now. See that the Emperor's will be done. I watched you deal with those traitors. Well done. That was an impressive display of loyalty. Take this reward as a token of the Emperor's favor, and wear this badge. It marks you as a defender of our Empire. Stay vigilant. Our enemies lurk where you least expect them. You... you did it, didn't you? You got the shards from the tomb, and you're on your way back to Lord Barris. You need to move out of my way. I'll take that as a yes. Stop! I, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. I tried to get through the tomb, but there were just too many Shyrak. I barely escaped. I figured better to ambush you and take your shards. But I see that's just as futile. Vemran is already inside with Barris. All the other acolytes died. You were my only chance. Now, I'm doomed. I'll never become Sith. Unless I return with the shards, Barris will have me killed. I'll save Barris the trouble of listening to your whimpering. Die! Prodigal supplicant returns, and with all the shards from the tomb of Tulak Horde, superb.
It seems your hopes have been dashed, Vemran. Appearances can be deceptive. Excuse Vemran, supplicant. He didn't take kindly to you turning those young acolytes on him, even though they were only untrained novices. He should thank me. Novices or not, I bet he had his hands full. The tension is thick between you two, a great source of emotion to feed on. I wonder what will happen when it boils over. You both stand on the precipice of becoming Sith. But only one of you will have the opportunity to claim a special lightsaber and serve as my apprentice. I thought it would be you, Vemran, but I've changed my mind. What? I've done everything you've asked. Better than any of the others. The honor should be mine. This is as it should be. Get used to being in my shadow. Today, Vemran is every bit your equal. But the Force is stronger with you, Acolyte. There is a power sleeping within you. It was a simple decision. Now, Vimran, go wait in my antechamber for your instructions. This instant. Now, I hope you fathom how fortunate you are to be singled out. If you become my apprentice, the galaxy will bend before you. You honor me. The lightsaber you will seek is old and powerful. It is housed in a forbidden cavern in the tomb of Nagasado, where few Sith have ever set foot. Almost no one knows how to find the secret entrance, but there is a Twi'lek in the holding pens who was caught breaking in there. I hear she is quite willful. Take her and make her show you the entrance to the forbidden cave. I will take care of that. Other acolytes seeking to complete their trials are sent to the tomb, where academy laws are waived. They will try to murder you. This test will determine if you become Sith. So bolster yourself. To set foot in the tomb of Naga Sadao is to breathe in death itself. Ouch! Give it a rest, will ya? I'm getting my fill of fun while I still can, slave. Ah, as if on cue, look who's back. Word is you might become Lord Barris's apprentice. Ah, nice work if you can get it. So, I hear you'll be relieving me of this Twi'lek. She's a pain in the neck. Ha! <laughs> who's a pain in the neck? I'm the one wearing a shock collar. Huh. <laughs> Consider that a going away present, Twi'lek. Seems you might be useful for something after all. This bruiser is taking you into the tomb where we caught you. None of you can figure out how to activate the tomb statues to open the Forbidden Cavern, huh? You got some kind of business in that secret Sith chamber, do you? Yes, and I'd appreciate your help. Don't bother being pleasant. Here, kid, take the shock control color. I'll set it to a high level. Use it enough, she'll show you the back door to her mother's house. I suppose I can play tomb tour guide. A lot of work went into cracking that nut, but I did it once, I can do it again. So we're clear. I'm officially on strike when it comes to domestic duties. I promise you I won't require a maid. Well then, maybe things are looking up for me. As if they could get worse. Lead the way. I'll show you the unlocking point throughout the tomb, and then open the secret door for you. Hey, this is it. The secret entrance to the hidden cavern isn't here. Just let me get my bearings. Take your time, slave. Just have the entrance uncovered by the time I've finished killing your new master. Can't say I'm surprised to see you, Vemran. You're remarkably predictable. My passions run deeper than yours. I am the true essence of what it is to be Sith. My legacy has suffered long enough. After today, you will be forgotten. It ends here and now. Becoming Barriss's apprentice was my destiny. Did I come this far and overcome such adversity? Only to be proven unworthy? I've waited a long time to put you in your place. Consider this. Killing you was easy. Then do it. 
Finish me. Wow. Nice work. Glad to impress you. The secret entrance is right here. You've been most helpful. It's nice to be acknowledged. Thanks. I was a staunch traditionalist and he was especially hard on me. But he's my blood. Did you think you could kill him and get away with it? Refresh my memory. I kill many people's fathers. You seek to add insult to injury? I'm Eskla Greiton. My father was Overseer Tremel. Remember killing him? Well, I don't know. But I am in possession of his ring. See? I'm going to rip that ring from your steaming corpse! I'm going to add your ring to the collection. You'll rue the day you took his life. Attack! I am beside myself. Not only did you get the Twi'lek to cooperate, but you completed the task and claimed the ancient lightsaber. Vemran was not in my chamber as I instructed. I take it he sought to stop you and claim the ancient weapon as his own. He tried and failed. Vemrin was nothing if not consistent. Bravo. I see you may indeed become one of the strongest Sith in the galaxy. Your trials are over. You are now my apprentice. I'm your humble servant, Master. I bow before you. Rise, my apprentice. This is only the beginning. With you as my right hand, we shall strike fear into the Empire's enemies. I must convene with the Emperor and inform him of your progress. This shuttle pass will take you to Dromund Kos. Meet me at the Citadel there. Tell the Emperor I said hello. I'm sure he'll be thrilled. Take the Twi'lek slave as my gift. Do with her as you wish. If she'll be of use, by all means take her with you to Drummond Goss. <laughs> <laughs> 